diese What's going on guys? So today we're gonna go over some of the modifications I have on the car. Keep in mind most of these, if not all these, came with the car. And we're gonna go over what I've had to put into the car and yeah. So people are still asking for a mods list and everything. So I just figured I'd make a video. I do have a wheel well and I'll leave the link in the description and that lists everything on the car. Sorry for the wind noise and the car noise. So we have the ETS uh, front mount cooler, as you see in all the pictures that I post in the videos. Uh, has the short route. There was a GM math, but uh, now it's running full speed density, so I can get rid of that. Uh, fuel pressure regulator over here. And then I just installed the boost controller. Hallman boost controller right there. I think you can see that. Yeah. And just just a catch can. And what else? We have 1,000 cc injectors. Tuner said they might not be 1,000 cc. They might be dirty 1,000 cc's, but they're flowing like 800s. So we'll see with that. Clean them out. The next thing for this car to be done is a retune. Hopefully shooting for over 400. That'd be nice. wheels I got brand new Pirelli's on there P7's all season I need to get these rims these wheels refinished I'm gonna do them gloss black most likely I got new rotors all the way around new pads so that's soon to come they're on their way what else so the the the, the wheels I'm gonna just sand them all and uh, try to get most of the curb rash that came with it get that all done when I first bought the car these wheels were not did not have a uh, silver ring around them that is from the tire shop I was pretty livid about that as for the interior we have sorry for the interior we have the auto meter line of gauges just wide band boost and oil pressure. Pretty simple. What else? Pump. Pop the trunk. The exhaust on this car is a full three inch uh, custom exhaust, I guess the guy said. It was originally uh, just a full one piece all welded together exhaust with a Borla uh, muffler. And then my shop I put the motor in they put a couple flanges in in case I needed to take it out for some reason I also forgot to go over the wastegate 38 millimeter wastegate recirculated so not too obnoxious and that's mostly it I gotta get this fixed it's very sad to see this gotta get that fixed I know a welder he's a good fabricator so hopefully he can help me out Told you my plans. I'm going to Elite Tuner June 4th. So that should be really fun. By then, I'm hoping to have the wheels done. The rotors will be done, obviously. Probably gonna paint the calipers black, just so they don't look so shitty. Um, what else? So I wanna have done before then. I'm gonna clean up the engine bay a little bit. I either wanna get a ceramic coated, a black ceramic coated, manifold or uh, the aluminum FP heat shield that looks really nice on these and then I want to get this powder coated wrinkle black that's gonna look good so basically what I have into this car I paid six grand for it when I got it the car ran really good when I got it when I touch drove it I drove all the way to Connecticut which is about it was like a five hour drive or something like that. I left at like two, two or three in the morning. 
because the guy had to do something that day. So I had to be there by 6.30. So I got there. We looked into the car. Drove really good. Second gear on the transmission. Uh, it's a little scratchy like most of you guys know. Anyway, so got the car. It ran good for a little while. Made it all the way home, no problems. But the catch can fills up really bad, really fast. And uh, I met up with the shop now that I work with, with my car, um, Evolving Motorsports. They did a free compression test on the house, and the numbers were pretty, pretty low. I think there, there was like two cylinders, 70, 50, and 90. So then I needed a new motor, so then I searched for a motor. I found one in Florida, 7 bolt, ready to drop in. Uh, I paid 700 and then 200 for shipping. So then once that got here, Evolving went over that motor, over this motor, cleaned it up. Uh, they put new ARP head studs in, new Cometic head gasket, and new flywheel, ARP flywheel bolts. And that's, that's about it. So then, all said and done, I got new tires, everything. I've put four grand into the car so far. Plus, I just bought some new parts, boost controller, rotors. Tires were almost, tires were 800 bucks. Brand new. So I got over a little over 10 into this car. I also got it tuned, which was another 500. So. But I should... And then I had to get it retuned, which is going to be another like 300, 150 for the retune itself, and then 150 for an hour of dyno time, and then 100 an hour after that. Hopefully, it only takes an hour. So I have like a decent amount of money into this car, but it should be fun. Hopefully, it'll be over 400 to the wheels, and. Uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. A little update video. And uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.